Christmas.
and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage, Frosty the Snowman! you go out and do a little dancing with an elf. Years and never any cheers and damage. 
Thanksgiving, happy everything. How's everybody doing tonight? What do y'all think of this stage that the elves put together today, huh? Woo. Man, these guys did good. BFE went ahead and put in some new lights, some smoke. Gets a little foggy. I can barely see y'all out there, but y'all look beautiful. <laughs> Is that a new one? Are we going to do hashtag foggy now, too? Hashtag. <laughs> Oh, there's Earmuff. our boy. There's our boy. This song is called Christmas Struck. You'll 
That's a fun one. <laughs> we put that in the set list last year. Glenn Mayhew on the bass, give him a big round of applause. Wrote that one for us last year. So now that I'm out here, so who all, who all is new to this little ditty of a show? Let me see. You're not new. You're not new. <laughs> My family is new. They are legitimately new. You're new? What's your name? What is it? Cash? Good to meet you, buddy. Did you just drive here by yourself? Did you catch you an Uber or something? What do you do? Oh, that's so sweet. They were actually dancing. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. That's our first dancers we've ever had. So I'm pretty excited about that. So this is our first new one for the year. Y'all ready for a new one? Nobody has heard this one. Nobody. So you're all brand new to this wonderful song. And uh, in case those of you that don't know, I love to go to the beach, but I would also love to go to the snow. However, my wife does not like the snow at all. She's, she's not the cold. So we have this argument probably once a year. Uh, we're going to go to the beach or to the snow. And it goes like this. Let me know To the beach or to the snow 
one place you know has lots of sun The other one will chill your bum So come on and let me know To the beach or to the snow The beach has breeze, breeze, breeze Sometimes the snow's deep as your knees The beach, there's not that much to pack so you'll need another sack So come on and let me know To the beach or to the snow Y'all ready? To the beach or to the snow now To the beach or to the snow now But then the sun is nice and toasty The snow you need a fine is roasting so come on and let me know This This indecision's bugging me Do you want to be on the beach? Or in the snow for vacation? Which clothes to pack for all this fun? So come on and let me know we're in the sand or let it snow. Wow! Kayonda! The tiempo es frío y caliente. To the beach or to the snow now To the beach or to the snow now One place the sun is nice and toasty The other we need a fire that's roasting So come on and let me know We're in the sun or let it snow To the beach or to the snow now the sun is nice and toasty The other we need a fire that's roasting So come on and let me know To the beach or to the snow Last year, our good friend Jeremy O'Malley was in some other state. That's it. That was the one. And uh, he texted in on this next song. He got half of it, but didn't get the other half, unfortunately. So I will present this to anybody new. If you've been to this show, you're disqualified from this contest. <laughs> That's a big lie. We have video footage of you almost taking down half the decorations. Yeah. Y'all get up for Thomas Meehan, our resident Godzilla. <laughs> That'd be a good one we need to write. You know, we just have you up here stomp around in a T-Rex outfit. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, what? what, what? Shane, you all right there, buddy? You mean do that? <laughs> all right. Anyway, this song is called Alone Again, and it's based on two, two of my favorite Christmas hits. So if you know them both, come up to me or come up to my Mrs. Claus. What? Oh, did I? Yeah, totally did. Yeah, that was, yep, yep, missed that one. Good call. No oh, crap. She's always checking Missed my own cue. It's written on that list over there, though. Oh. Totally missed it. Well, we're going to put that somewhere else. Good luck finding well, that out. It's written over right? here to look at that list. This song is called Alone Again. <laughs>
have a blue Christmas without you, dear. I'll be so blue without you, dear. Could have on a green Christmas tree. Won't be the same if you're not here. I'm alone again. In my heart, wrapped in my love. This is, uh, this is the first song we ever wrote that wasn't about Christmas, but I've been doing it this way for 10 years, and it just had to be written. This song is called Sam I Am. Hey, Christian, you want to sing? Come on. Come on. Come get on the mic. We got one for you. Here we go. Let's do it, boys. Christian! Don't like it everywhere 
Just in case anybody's wondering. Yeah, good cover. Totally, totally covered that one. We've got a lot of dancing people out there. This is awesome. Oh, y'all give it up for Christian Gaynor. Earlier today, his dad's like, hey, so do you want to sing? And he's like, no. No, I'm good. But the pressure, the pressure of the club and the melding of the community. What's up, Pastor Ted? We can do more together. Yes, sir, we can. Yeah. Yes, we can. Y'all doing all right? Hey, Joseph. In case y'all are wondering what was going on over there, that cannon more me, not yeah, working. Monitor. Yeah, thank you. That's man. unfortunate. We may have to charge it up between bands, and I'll shoot it off during crankcase. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Might want to mention that. Hey, dude, we're like a third through the set. We got plenty of time. Good, good cover. I knew where you were headed with that. You actually earmuffed yourself on that one. That was brilliant. I'm just messing with you, Sam. I hate that. Well played. This is another new one that we introduced last year. In case any of y'all are wondering, my favorite, favorite drink of all time is eggnog and whiskey and uh we've got two songs in the set list tonight about it so uh, if anybody wants to bring me an eggnog and whiskey that'd be great because there's eggnog behind the bar just brought in for this show flown in from the country of eggnog can yeah yes mother 
Do what? In the world? Really? Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Mother, for keeping me abreast of such important topics. <laughs> it appears there's a shortage of Knob Creek across the world. Oh, no. And that's it. Lord, take me now. That's just, that's just unfortunate because I don't have any at home, I don't think. Drink more whiskey. This song is called Thirsty for Some Nog. <laughs> Christmas spirit seems so hard to find Even a chill when it's all in my mind <laughs> The music starts, all my movies appear That's when I see to find my holiday cheer <laughs> For all of your loved ones I'm still in a daze From the past year's haze And I'm thirsty for some love My mouth is too dry A tear in my eye I just finished my last Christmas sale But don't worry dear The blue smiles are here And I'm thirsty for some love Drink it all day. I even found some made with oat milk. Hooray! Go to the fridge to make friends for all of my loved ones. Dashing up men or whipped cream instead. Are you thirsty for some love? Perhaps in a month, whiskey or rum. Wonder if they drink it in wrong. Don't want alcohol, perhaps coffee all. Are you thirsty for some love? Thirsty for some nog. Are you thirsty for some nog? Thirsty for some nog. No, I'm thirsty for some nog. Thousand of wine can be just fine. Heather the wind, the wall, the fog. The vacation days, holiday pay, make me thirsty for some nog. Right after a meal, the drink seals a deal. Some Christmas desserts. Mass is empty. Now let me see. Thirsty for some dough Bottle of wine Can't be just fine And it cheer clear off the fog A drip from the haze Like a mouse in a maze That is Thirsty for some dough Right after a meal Drink takes a deal Eases away all of the stress A glass in my hand I got a plan Thirsty for some love. Oh my gosh. Uh, Jason did his. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. Hey, uh, next time we don't need to put ice in it, but uh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows I could probably use the extra. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This fan over here is my new best friend. Because every time I put my foot up here, it's like a little. Yeah, we get, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we get where it goes. What? It's just. It cools so you have a fan too. Vel- it cools off my velvet. It fools out. <laughs> what is that, velvet? Dude, that was awesome.
It was awesome. I can see Y'all doing all right out there? Four people out. I am not going to lie. It has been a long season for us. Um, I'm taking a break here right now where I didn't need to take a break. But uh, So if y'all notice me reading some lyrics and stuff, it's hard to remember all these words sometimes, all right? We've got four. Really? Wow. Why not call me Vince Neil too, huh? I look like the abominable snowman. <laughs> Ouch, Thomas. Wow. I used a teleprompter last year. I'm kind of missing it right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This one, uh, so that was a new song last year. So we've only done it once. And this is a new song this year, which has the most words in any song that we've ever put together, which is absolutely ridiculous. However, it made sense. Now, a little bit of a public service announcement. I realized that if Santa were to fly around the world, it would be more than 2 million miles, okay? I understand that. I can comprehend that. I, I get that. However, 487.6 billion miles doesn't fit into a song like 1 in 2 million does, okay? So give me some artistic license on this next one, okay? All of you science people out there going... And I'm looking at one young lady in the back who's our big science major who would be like, hey, Ryan, she'll be at church tomorrow. And she'd be like, hey, Ryan, by the way, um, if Santa were to fly around the world, it'd be a lot longer than two million miles, okay? I mean, I don't know what you're thinking. It's going to be at least, you know, 487.6 billion. Gas prices. <laughs> Nothing but love for you, Abby, but I know, I know that you would hand that to me. She'd give me a diagram, a math equation, be like, Ryan, I figured this up for you, so... I wanted you to, yeah, this is just all wrong. That many syllables doesn't flow with the song. We're doing it to scale to the map. Exactly. <laughs> this song is called Gonna Be. When you wake up, well, you hope there's gonna be, there's gonna be a load of gifts laid out for you. When you look out, well, you hope you're gonna see a stocking filled with lots of goodies there for you. And if you go out to see Santa at the mall, you're gonna tell him all the things to bring to you. And if you write me, well, you know I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how special all this is to you. And I would fly one million.
All right, I'm not going to lie. Eggnog with a little ice in it definitely is not too bad when you're, when you're in a Santa suit and it's 600 degrees. Once again, Abby, no, I know it's not 600 degrees, okay? That would melt my skin off. Yes, it's not I'm cold every, all, all over the world at the same time. So, uh, y'all having a good time or what? How many boxes of toys do we have over there? Oh. <laughs> Five boxes of toys. That's awesome. That's awesome. Y'all give yourselves a big round of applause. Everything tonight that was raised, toys and money, any kind of donations, anything, all goes to Toys for Tots, 100%. So God bless you all. Thank you so much. Um, Y'all give a big round of applause for the guys in the band, too, please. This is, we love you, too, Jim. You're on, the, you're on the good list. Don't worry, buddy. We have been, this is the 14th year that we've actually done this show. However, we've been doing it for about 16 years now. Um, we had a couple years we skipped, so, um, huh? <laughs> Shady math, yeah, right, exactly. There goes Santa and his math again. <laughs> Somebody should get that guy like an addition book or something. That's why he only works one day a year. <laughs> That's right, he only works one day a year. It's tough, it's tough to keep all that stuff together on vacation most of the time. This song is called I Want Snow. <laughs>
cannons? <laughs> Unfortunately, the snow cannons don't like the heat either. They're losing all the air, so I apologize. Except these two right on Natalie O'Malley, which was perfect. Perfect. I mean, just perfect, you know? Welcome back. Welcome back to the show, you know? Y'all doing all right? This uh, next song is uh, probably a, a big fan favorite at this point. Yes, Tammy? Oh. Oh, boy. Nicole, you're going to be driving home. Again, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Again. Thank you so much. We love y'all, too. So real quick, one more time. Let me see some hands. Who's, this is the first time to see this show. First time to see this show. Not, no, no, none of, oh my God, none of you. My family's the only one telling the truth. Really, that's, that's where we're, we're gonna go into semantics about this? <laughs> Have you been talking to Abby? <laughs> my God, we can't take you anywhere, sorry. Yeah, that, it was whiskey, it's good whiskey. <laughs> <clears throat> Everybody always loved this song. We uh, we lost Eddie Van Halen a few years ago now, which is just such a loss to this world. But um, huh? But this uh, this was the first Van Halen song that we covered and then recovered in the Christmas style. So uh, we we they'll always love this one. So y'all know this song. It's called Red Rider. So I want to hear y'all singing, and it goes a little something like this. <laughs>
In case y'all were wondering what happened there, so these are, I've made a set list of the Christmas names, not the real names. So we're going to go back and play Panama now, which is actually what yeah. Red Rider is. It happens. It happens to the best of us because Glenn, I think Glenn was the only one that caught it because I was about to start singing. Yeah, sure, you caught it, Thomas. It's all good. It's all good. But I was like, fine. And Glenn's like, man, this is Panama. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And he goes, this isn't Panama. <laughs> Chris just wants to tease y'all a little bit. I was waiting. To That's do the what makes live music better than premeditated and recorded music. That's why we don't use any backing tracks. Everything you hear is live. And if it sucks, it's because we sucked live. I think was that, that probably wasn't what I wanted to. That wasn't what I, that wasn't what I was going for. That was Mitch. Right. This song is called Red Rider to the tune of Panama. <laughs> Chris Harris on the lead guitar. 
And y'all give it up for Sean Hamilton for painting that guitar that you can't even tell me what color it is. It's every color. Any of you that took pictures of that, go look at your pictures because it's a different color in every one almost. Uh-oh. What's up next? <laughs> Thomas? You want to sing the heavy parts? Where's Mark? Huh? He's been absent the last couple of years. I don't know. We need Mark. Where is he? Where's that whole group? Matt's engaged. We don't ever see him. Is he? Matt's on tour with um, Tree Branches. Tree Branch Assembly. Tree Branch Assembly. How many of y'all listen to any kind of death metal? Like real death metal. Isn't it funny that all of them are just called Tree Branch? I mean, it's just a bunch of, you know. Bunch of bunch of stuff like this, and then, what's your what's the name of your band? We are watch the buildings burn as they decay and rot. <laughs> what? Are you are you sure that's the name of the band, man? I mean, I'm pretty sure it just says tree branches. I mean, it looks like my oak tree in the backyard, just kind of bunch of. How about I just call y'all tree branches, all of y'all, like all thousand of y'all. <laughs> Anytime you see a death metal festival, it's like 60 bands on there. You can read one. <laughs> You're like, tree branch, tree branch, tree branch, tree branch, tree branch, tree branch. Oh, immortal. Huh. Immortal. I'll be dang. <laughs> tree branch, tree branch, tree branch. I'm going to get blackballed on the death metal websites, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and they're we all on YouTube friends, listening yeah. right now. Happy trees. Oh, look. <laughs> that's it. It's ha they're all about Bob Ross. Happy Tree Branches. That's what it is. It's a Bob Ross festival. This song is called Black Friday. Get into every 
sore And I wanna just go back home And I'm so sleeping You got all the gifts you wanted And I'm lost inside the food court At Molly's Black Friday At Sears A kiosk filled up there Disaster Thomas, I'm going to have to ask you to step outside for the next five minutes. <laughs> All right. We've got, a, we've got a present on the stage here. And so we've got a little present. There's only one. How many of y'all remember hot potato as a little kid? Oh, Shane turned the fans off. I wasn't even going to remind you, but you can't forget that. Zebra, what is that? Hey. I know, dude. Did you see them? They just yeah. waltzed in, man. Good to see you. How are you? What's up, Zebra? All right. Here we go. All right, you get one first. Just hold on to this, and I'll explain the rules. Bensons, come here. <laughs> one of the Bensons sends an, send an emissary to the front. Rusty, you get one just because you brought Frosty back. Y'all give a big round of applause for Abby Benson. Woohoo! All right, so here's the story, and here's how this goes. Everybody pay attention. The fruitcake is not a cake at all. It's not a cake. It's not a fruit tray. It's not an appetizer. It's not a snack. It's Nobody knows what it is. I think I just saw a story that they found one that was a gift in like the early 1900s and it was still intact. That's from our first show. That's probably show. That's, yeah, that's that was like the first 15, show we did. 16 years ago. So here's how this works. During The Pretender, this song, you're going to pass the fruitcake like it's a, like it's a hot potato. <laughs> yeah. We would prefer to not throw the fruitcake. The reason that they turned the fans off is because one year that it was really hot like it is today, we had an unfortunate incident where one went through the fan from the top down and became fruitcake shrapnel. It's glorious on video. <laughs> it was still fruit happened. crumbs by then, not fruitcake. Fruit fetty, yes. It was, it was absolutely glorious. I completely lost all train of thought and just lost it on stage. However, you're going to pass it if... If one happens to make it to the end of the show, you get to keep the fruitcake. And if you come back next year, please bring it back and we'll pass it around again. However, for the last 10 years, there hasn't been one make it back. There hasn't been one to make it past half the song, honestly. So, this isn't a challenge, Thomas. <laughs> However, so the song goes like this. Start passing. Start passing. Keeping 
two. You know what happens, right? If you uh, collect them all, or one, you, you have know to. What you can do? You have if to you keep collect, it. If you collect five fruitcakes, you can put them all together to make one giant mega fruitcake. Oh yeah. Name the movie. Come on. Deadpool. Deadpool was the reference I was going with. All right, come on. No, not this one. <laughs> All right, quick question. He brings up a good point. How many of you think that Die Hard is a Christmas movie? How many of you are wrong? Good. Good crowd. Good crowd. I got to finish my bite here. Hold on. That's a lot of fruitcake. That's horrible. Oh, my God. So, um, so this next song, <laughs> and I don't even don't put my name on this one. So, <laughs> we his idea though. <laughs> no, we no, leave. No. We leave. No, it's totally my idea. We get in the car. I get in my truck. We, why aren't, we weren't all leaving your house. We were, I was in my truck, and Hootie and the Blowfish came on the radio. <laughs> Hunty and the Blowfish. Only want to only wanna be with you, all right? And everybody knows the song. Everybody loves the song. No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they do. Hey, in my story, they do, all right, bro? All right? My everybody story, at a love Hootie it. concert loves it. In your, in your Hallmark so, revision. I, I'm like, we need to write this song. And just several weeks before that, while at the men's retreat from my church, I was telling my good friend Nick Gustafson, I need to write a song dedicated to your mom. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hold hey, on. Hey, don't, bu- don't stop there in Finish the story. Finish that thought, please. Yeah. <laughs> About how much she hates Hallmark movies. Excuse me. Hallmark Christmas movies, okay? I love them. Karen hates them. With quite a passion. And, in fact, many people at the church actually know this, and so now it's actually become a running joke. I've got five or six shirts about it. I wear them. She gets angry, makes this little pouty face. <laughs> it's awesome. But I told Nick, and he did his normal hyena laugh. He said, oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and so then when Hootie and the Blowfish came onto the radar, I'm like, Haha, that's the one right there. <laughs> that's it. So since we've taken out some of the songs about Hallmark over the years, I Hate Myself for Loving You and some others, I had to put one back in. And this was it. And I'm so proud of this song. So, so proud. And Karen Gustafson immortalized on the internet. This will never go away. This will never, ever leave the world. This song about Hallmark movies is dedicated to you. Here come the Hallmark movies just in time. I know the silly, but they always make me cry. I don't care if the story's the same. I'm gonna watch them all instead of football games. But they're always on the tube. You can find them in the streaming too. Karen looks at me. Like you they said I'm insane I've always said the Hallmark season is my thing She doesn't watch them during Christmas time Says she'd only like them if you promise someone dies But that never is the truth Hallmark movies and mysteries too Yeah, there's nothing they can do I'm always gonna watch a few Put on a little candies Cameron just in time I recommend
recorded it last year cause it just ran out of time to Seasons one it'll call break down They're restoring the merry-go-round Working hard to just save the town And when they do, love breaks through Can't help me if I'm cheesy I act like every story is new said I'm uncool I'm always gonna watch a few Emotions tangled up and blue That's what these movies always do you can sing it just with vows too. A E I O U. Sometimes I wonder if it'll ever end. How my channel has changed a lot to keep up with the trends. DSC is a new one. Gonna have to tune in. The Hallmark cast is there, even Lori Loughlin So I know what I will do I'm gonna start watching those ones too Hope they turn out just as good Cause I'm always gonna watch a few Yeah, they make me happy I'm always gonna watch a few I'm always gonna watch a few You know, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but toot toot I have, I have worked Lori Laughlin into two different songs about Christmas and she went to prison for paying to get her kid into college. That's pretty impressive. I'm pretty proud of that. I remember the day I wrote that line and thought, this is incredible. I read Lori Laughlin into two songs. <laughs> what do you think, Karen? Yeah, well, that's about all I can do in this. I mean, it's... <laughs> The good news is, is that my wife reminded me to put some safety pins right here, like right on my suspenders. I had to make a I had to make a disclaimer a few years ago because there were ladies in the audience looking at me like, "Is Santa wearing a bra?" <laughs> and then I'm like, "No, it's a bro." And then somebody else was like, "No, it's a man's ear." And I was like, "It's not either one of those. It's suspenders that keep falling down." Okay. So, you know, it was a whole thing. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> y'all welcome Sean Hamilton to the stage. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. So, uh, last year, last year we welcomed this, no, no, not, no, not my wife, this beautiful lamp. We welcomed this to the show. Oh. Must be Italian. Must be Italian. Straight out of Italy. It's fragile. It's 100% fragile. His end up showed up in that box. And uh, and this kid, this kid is putting us out. Look, hey, hey, check this out. Hey, look, this is gonna get the most hits, bruh. Hey, bruh. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. And this kid's gonna be like, hey, man, check these guys out. We're gonna have like two million hits in another day. <laughs> Hey, whatever proceeds up. we get, I'll give you 20%, all right? Huh? That's, that's whatever. I mean, we're going to be, look, dude, look. Hey, check it out, bro. We're the background music hey, for Fortnite. We're going to be on Fortnite in, like, no time, dude. <laughs> they're going to be doing dances. Oh, man, they're going to have a Santa Rhino dance. <laughs> Whoa. That's what's going to tick my kids off the most. <laughs> They're going to be playing Fortnite. We might actually make some money off of it. There you go, right? We got to give him 20%, though. <laughs> I already made the deal, and he recorded it, so that was unfortunate. This song is called Leg Lamp. Believe it, baby. I know 
country song over the years and this is it and uh, I'm not gonna lie it's a pretty good one I think out of all of the songs I would like to meet the bands that we've covered this one would be probably one of the most fun because this guy really does seem down to earth even though he's like has like seven how many people are in the planet did the Bensons leave Abby would know Abby how many people are in the planet Seven billion. So I think this guy has seven billion fans. Seven point. Well, now I'm going to give him two million. Don't More than like 200 him. million, right? 200. Two, 200 million don't like him, but seven billion do. This song is called Friends in Cold Places. Are y'all leaving, Benson's? God bless. Be careful. Good seeing y'all. This song is called Friends in Low Places. Cold places, Cold whatever. Places, yeah. Play the song. I'm hot. Blame it all on my suit. I showed up in June and ruined your god fair. The great TV buys bring a tear to your eyes during Christmas in July. Next thing you know, as fast as I go, I'm back before Halloween with Christmas decor and so much more. Yeah. 
while you decorate your little spaces, they got sink right in. Through your fireplaces, calls I got friends in cold places. Yeah. Give them a little taste, guys. Think it's all wrong to hear a Christmas song anytime before Turkey Day. What can I say? Some do it anyway, and some sing a sing along. Hey, I didn't mean to steal every scene from September till New Year's Day. But what can I say? I'm the number one thing in the Macy's Day Parade. Cause I got friends in cold places where the wind whips down and freezes spaces every day. But they'll be okay. Yeah, you take a Sneak right in through your fireplace is cold. I got friends in cold places. Yeah. I'll play it for me, boys. this song we knew that if we were gonna play it live which let's face it we're all playing live because we're alive so we knew that we would have to write a third verse so I sat down and I racked my brain real hard and I thought all right I got it I got just the verse so we're gonna go ahead and do that verse for you and it goes like this Some think it's all wrong to sing a Christmas song any time before Turkey Day. What can I say? I think it's okay to start before Labor Day. After this Christmas show, these songs that you know will change forever, alas. And you'll curse my name. Yeah, you decorate your little spaces. Think I'll 
Sean Hamilton over here. Y'all doing all right out there? Y'all want a few Christmas tunes? Y'all want a few more? That'd be nice. That's what we're here for. Uh, duh. Glad to see the Blood Bowl community show up. <laughs> Who won? Did you win? Oh, this guy's like, no, I did. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I totally. He didn't even have. What's your name, dude? What's it? Jonathan. He's like, I beat you. I beat them like I beat you. You have a biker name or a road name or is there a Blood Bowl name, anything like that? No? Okay. Just checking. So this is another new one this year. And, uh, oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. Is he feeling... They're like, they're Calm like, it no. down, Thomas. Calm it. This is going to require some restraint. There you go. All right, listen. This, we if, have Pandora's if, box is about to happen. If, if on this next song you were to receive a little token of our appreciation, please don't throw it at us. Don't send it back <laughs> forcefully. However, because we can't see anything, okay? And I, I'm not kidding about that. We can't see a thing. I don't know what happened during that last song. Those lights actually like were like, hey, I cussed, and they went crazy and just made, did some craziness. However, we can't see anything until it's like right here, okay? So I'm being serious about this, even though I'm saying it in a very fun and Tomas. jovial voice. Please don't <laughs> throw this crap back at us. You know it's still going to happen, but. Yeah, it probably is. And then I'm going to throw Thomas out. <laughs> who's got Put him, him in a box. You got Thomas. You have to sit in this box. Hey, who's got him? Huh? Where are they? They're we're we're covered. We're covered. <laughs> so, how many of y'all have seen the Great Pumpkin? Now, if you don't know what that is, it's Charlie Brown, the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Y'all have seen that? Unfortunately, Charlie Brown got shafted at every house he went to, right? What did he get? <laughs> so Charlie Brown and all of his friends were going out trick-or-treating, and he got a what? Oh, wait a minute. He got a what? Are y'all sure about that? What was it? One more time. I got a rock! Rock!
That was perfect. Y'all give it up for Charlie Brown. Here. <laughs> you got any more rocks? Oh, man, we got a couple more songs for y'all. And these are oldies but goodies. So, uh, yeah, that's probably true. Thank you for pointing that out, Natalie. <laughs> hey, dude, if you could not bring her next year, then be good. You know, Natalie, that's why we've always loved you, because when you showed up, you didn't let any of us, <laughs> any of us, this woman showed up. He's like, hey, man, y'all mind if I stop by practice? And we're like, yeah, cool. Hey, I'm going to bring this girl I just started dating. Oh, that's cool. And she showed up. We're like, and I'm she not single? kidding. She made Christmas. She lit us all on fire and left. And we're like, what in the hell just happened? That woman walked in here and kicked all of our butts in one hour. <laughs> and then walked out like, cool. See y'all later. Deuces. I know, right? Really, God bless. True. True. Very true. I know, clearly it didn't bother us that much. We love you. We secretly like you. And I'm so glad to see you standing here. This is like first time in three years. Three years! Uh, you weren't here in 21. Yeah, but we just You were here in 20? You sure? All right. Y'all doing Okay. We got a couple more songs for y'all. This song is called Christmas Is My Business, and business is good. good.
stand up all over the world. Let's plug a star in on top of the house. If that doesn't finish it off, we'll put more lights in the tree. Build a wreath in the middle of the yard for planes to see. Make the world glad. Come on, y'all. Show me your sign of Christmas tree. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Sign a Christmas tree. Sign a Christmas tree. You better run the cards. Christmas lights ain't going everywhere. Hey, no, you can't have too many. You spoke some air everywhere and then you deck the holes to the wall, man. Holes to the wall. You deck the holes to the wall, man. Holes to the wall. You deck the holes to the wall, man. Holes to the wall. You deck the You got to fall to the wall, girl. Thank you all so much. On my right, Jason Rose on the lead guitar. On my left, Len Mayhew on the bass. On my far left, Chris Harris on the lead guitar. On the drums, Leo Garza. Thank you to BFE. Thank you to all y'all for Toys with Tots. God bless you all. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We love you all. Thank you. Stick around for Crankcase. Good night. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you very much.